Hey everybody. So today, my kid's first day back to school, out here in the shop. Well, it's funny. Their first day back to school, I think I'd have a lot more time out here today and get you guys like a whole video up and everything. It just doesn't work that way. Never does. But I started this table here. Thought I'd bring you guys along for the rest of the, uh, the build. I know I don't have any video and footage of um, getting to this point. I figured we'd just finish this together and you guys can you know check it out from there and follow along I'm not sure how much time I've got today I might not finish this in this video but we'll see what we can do and how far we can get so as of right now I've got this piece of maple cookie cut whatever you want to call it cross cut slab live edge um, I've had this for a few years now pretty much dried out done what it's gonna do it's gonna be my table top I've got this skirting here I made with pine and the top's just three-quarter inch plywood here it's all tagged together and glued up and then we've got four maple legs on here they've all kind of got some curves and bends to them and right now I'm getting ready to level this out now this thing is is not sitting level at all you know i think i got another video on there before in the past leveling out a table um i'm not really going to be focusing on leveling the table in a minute we're going to speed things up i'm just going to go through and do it and we'll get this top on and then we're going to do some work on this skirting if i have time like i said we've got a short amount of time here today we'll see what happens though Let's get started. One of the first things I'm going to do is hit these ends on the bandsaw. I want to get them locked down, get them close to a sitting level, and then I'll go ahead and move over to my um, belt sander to kind of just finesse them. So we're going to look at this, see how bad. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a quarter of an inch off of these three legs. These three outside legs here. This one's too short, so these ones are too long. We'll rip it on, cut it on a bandsaw. We should be good. Go ahead and throw a level on the top here. We'll see what it looks like. See if we gotta cut one of these legs down a lot more or not. Pretty darn close. A lot of it is uh it's off a little. This side here's a little high, this side's low, not too bad. Before I go too much further, we're gonna go ahead and we'll put some sticks in the base here. Which will sturdy these legs up. They always tend to shift a little bit when I start putting the twig work in here and they move. So even if I've got it sitting perfectly level now, it probably won't be sitting perfectly level when I'm done. So I might as well do my stick work now that it's close, get that done, and then we'll go back to uh, the belt sander, possibly the bandsaw. We'll see what happens.
Now that the base is together, I want to do a nice dark stain on it. We're going to have this nice light colored maple top. We're going to do some white birch and twig work here, and I want to do a nice dark base. I've got some Minwax dark walnut. That's what we're going to do on the base here. It'll be a little tricky brushing it on, but take our time and it'll look pretty nice. As I look at the base, I've got some spots where there's a little bit of bark left. So what I like to do is I take my torch, just hit it quick. They'll come right off and then we'll get into staining. Now that the base is all stained, all we can do is let it dry. Um, the next video that I'll be shooting on this piece, I hope to be uh, working on the skirting here, doing some white birch and twig work and attaching the maple top that I have. And that'll, uh, that'll pretty much round out the piece, but stay tuned for part two on this build. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hope you liked that last video. If so, shoot me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You can follow the link right here. I've got a few other videos up. Feel free to check those out. You can also follow my work on Facebook at Hall Stick Furniture and Signs. You can even find us on Instagram. Check those places out and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.